Hi everyone, I'm Mary with Mary Greeley News. Thank you for joining me. Yeah, rather cute. We got a crow here in front of the camera. Yeah, too bad we can't hear him, huh? Some type of blackbird. I don't know, is it a sign? I have some good news for everyone. I was re-monetized today, this morning. I got up and I was re-monetized. I want to thank everyone for their support during this month-long um, shutdown of my channel. Um, yeah, and they are shadow banning me. Twitter has admitted in their new rules and re regulations that they are shadow banning people. But I want to thank everyone from the bottom of my heart for their help and support during this time when yeah, YouTube uh, Dean monetized me. That meant that there was no ads. Meant that there was no money, absolutely no money coming in during uh, oh, over a month of demonetization here on YouTube. And I, I think it's because everyone here um, on my channel, um, all of you in the community, wrote in and complained about it. Yeah, thank you so much. And so many of you were so generous in helping me keep afloat. Uh, paid my rent um, Yeah, it was crushing Devastating when they did did that it'll probably take me a little bit to get back up on my feet again But I'm okay because of your donations um, Yeah, people from around the world uh, Complained that YouTube did that to me and I did a lot of changes Don't have my crickets anymore. I don't have my lead um, And they probably won't go back up because I don't want to give YouTube any excuse to demonetize me but here's an update um, yeah again thank you thank you thank you thank you for your support I'm on patreon I'm on BitChute. Um, BitChute evidently you can only upload three videos a day it seems like at least for me if I put more than three up um, for some reason um, yeah it keeps processing and I can't get the videos to load if I do more than three videos a day. But I'm on Patreon and I'm also on PayPal. Um, yeah, thank you so much. Anyways, here's what's going on with Yellowstone. I expect Steamboat Geyser to erupt again today. I believe it has erupted 45 times so far this year. Looks like we're on nine a day intervals. Um, it's been 9 days and 12 hours since its last eruption, so it'll probably go off again today, making it the 46th eruption for the year. Tonga had a fairly large earthquake, not very large, but a 5.7 earthquake yesterday. It was 10 kilometers in depth, and I was surprised to see that this earthquake shook up Yellowstone. This here is Holmes Hill. And I noticed right after the 1600 hour, yeah, it really started shaking. Before that, there was some shaking going on too. Now this is near um, Heaven Lake, uh, Hedgeman Lake, however you want to pronounce it. There's its signature at the Aleutian Islands as it, you know, reverberated around the world. We also have Alaska, um, Oregon, Florida, um, Hawaii. Yeah, it's not very large, so it really surprised me, which was a 6.0. Yeah, that one, too, also shook up the caldera, and that was 10 kilometers in depth. Right there's the signature. I'll pull it back a little bit, you know, the time-wise. There you go. Yeah, we got 1,300. You can see this right here. Oh, about 1,315. That would be the P wave. And then uh, 1415, between 1415 and 1420. See, it took a little bit for the earthquake to show up there at Yellowstone Lake. It's a good example of if there's a large earthquake within the vicinity of actually any volcano, not just Yellowstone. But they have found that they can cause volcanoes to erupt, and that has happened in the past. This here is the monitor for Yellowstone Lake. We got several earthquakes that occurred um, now this would be late last night universal time 
but they're only reporting the last earthquake at 2104 Universal there in Manhattan, Montana, a 1.3. That would be about 2.4 miles in depth or 3.9 kilometers. And these occurred at 2340 and 2341. We'll look at the signature. See that? Yeah, we definitely got harmonic tremors or what they call volcanic tremors. Let me pull this over because there's another one. See that? Another small one there. More recently when I pulled the files using the Swarm program and with Amp Gemacy as J-A-M-A-S-E-I-S -S, stream view. There was this other small earthquake. Now this is today at 1048 Universal Time. And I'll show you the uh, spectrogram brought up some hot gases. Yep. And then we got another little one there. Doesn't really show up, but it's tiny. Let's take a look at the signature. And I pulled these files going back uh, to Thursday. Here we got another one at 1819. Now this too would have been yesterday. They're not reporting that, but there was a 1.0 at um, 1839, 6.0 kilometers in depth. That was Manhattan, Montana. So that would be 3.7 miles in depth. And that's up there by Bozeman. And we got Butte over here. They got mine blasting going on over there. There's a, oh no, a mine that, yeah, it's a working mine. A rock quarry. Another small earthquake at 1823. Yeah, that one lasted a few seconds. Yeah, actually there was two bursts of energy. Uh, the ones in Manhattan, Montana don't really show up here on this monitor. And then going farther back, we got this one's in red. We have one at 1541. Now this is Thursday. Yeah, there's quite a few of them through here on Thursday. Yeah, this one at um, 1521. We'll look at the signature. Three of them. And we'll pull this over. That would have been on the 5th. And none of those are being reported. They're reporting uh, 1320, a 0 0.9. 1316, a 1.1. And then 628. These are all Montana. Yeah, a 0 0.9. So none of those were reported. Yeah, they were doing so well about reporting these earthquakes, and now they're slacking. And we'll come down. We got a little bit of thickening of the lines here. Another little microquake there at uh, 2002. Got another small one there. Let me pull that up for you. Yeah, at 135. Again, this is on the 5th. But the only thing USGS is reporting is the earthquakes in Montana. There was a 0 0.8 in Lima, Montana. Now that's along the Snake River Plateau down here. But I really don't see any of the um, Manhattan, Montana earthquakes showing up here on this monitor. And this again is for Yellowstone Lake. All right, here we have Swarm. This is Norris Junction. You can see an earthquake here, uh, 28 minutes and 10 seconds. Yeah, we got two lines of melt. Again, this is Norris Junction. This is just after midnight today, Saturday, December 7th. And we know they're not reporting anything for today. This would have been Friday, 2340. And we'll look at the signature. That one, too, is not being reported. Um, some small harmonic tremors going on at 2305. At 2117, yeah, I wanted to look at this because there's a thickening of the line. Harmonic tremors, you can see 
one little spike there 2118 not being reported any of that activity but at 2104 that's when the earthquake occurred in Lincoln Montana there's 03 let's see if we yeah 20 there okay yeah it's a little more active right there but yeah it's very hard to tell two lines of melt now this is different depths where the rock has melted because of the magma that's coming up um, there at Yellowstone not all rock melts at the same temperature this would have been yesterday on the 6th um, just after midnight 46 minutes after midnight also not being reported and there's one just before that 23 minutes before midnight on the 6th and let's see what's this one uh, 1934 um, that would have been on the 5th and let me close that so you can see if there's anything else on here not a lot of activity at Norris but let me show you this this is one of the tilt meters or Norris Junction you can see around the first lots of dots means lots of activity and then it settled down top X measures north the direction of uplift Y uh, measures east and I talked about how they're measuring the uh, deformation that's going on under the ground this is north X Y is east I'll pull that up a little bit for you each dot is an earthquake that created uplift within the last seven days there's only five volcanoes around the world where they're measuring the deformation that occurs under the ground most of the monitors at Yellowstone Lake um, are showing a trend going north now this is the last 30 days so you can see here on the first yeah a lot of shaking was going on another monitor for Norris junctions and these all come from boreholes deep wells under the ground and now this one here yeah X is north Y is east you can see the trend is completely opposite as what the other monitor shows for Norris now each dot again is an earthquake but it seems to be going more of a northeast here lately and then the last 30 days yeah X is north Y is east seeing how I already showed you Yellowstone Lake um, I'll go back to the tilt meter for that now tilt meter is ground deformation and look at east this is the last seven days yeah east last 30 days look at the uplift east now we know they have spreading just like um, spreading that occurs deep in the oceans where there's rifts yeah and that's also going on there at Yellowstone Lake this image here comes from USGS from 2008 and 2009 showing the expansion that's going on at Yellowstone Lake we have uplift on the east side of Yellowstone Lake and you notice here um, the expansion if you look at the arrows yeah it's more going towards the east so it makes sense that we have uplift over there Holmes Hill which is near Heben Lake Hedgebin Lake and I talked about how reports came in last year um, that because of the uplift there at the lake uh, draining from the lake has opened up in a new area notice all the activity through here now that is when they had the earthquake in Tonga the 6.0 and 5 point whatever look at that yeah probably yeah brought up some hot gases maybe um, a landslide I'm not sure I'm trying to see where this is at now this is 1814 not being reported and of course they're not reporting anything today 
for Yellowstone Lake. Um, everything yesterday was um, um, Montana, Manhattan, Montana. Yeah, look at all that. Let's see what we got up at the top here. It's hard to find it because there's so much activity going on. Okay, 1934. This would have been Thursday. Again, not being reported. And, you know, there is residential areas over there. I'm trying to look at this different stuff. Um, look at the heat that was coming up. See the lighter color? Yeah, that's heat that's coming up. There is a residential area over there. But the park is closed for the winter right now. Yeah, a lot of shaking going on, isn't there? Let me go to this one here. Yeah, 1814. We got another one. Where is it? I can't get it. Anyways, yeah, look at the heat. Probably a quiet before the storm with uh, blackbirds calling out a warning, right? Here we have the tilt meter for the Madison River area. Top is north. Y is east. Last seven days. See, it's got a trend going towards the east. Last 30 days. Look at the uplift that's been going on the last 30 days. Wow. For the Madison River area. And then Panther, which is near the um, Mammoth Vault. I probably should start pulling that one again. I haven't pulled the uh, earthquakes on that one for a while. Yeah, that one's going east also. Last seven days, last 30 days. Look at all the shaking that's been going on. Yeah, east. Currently, it's 26 degrees there at Yellowstone. They're expecting a high of 30 degrees. Um, they have a lot of melted snow. A lot of melted snow. And that's because of the uh, magma coming up under the ground of just, yeah, melting it off. So that's all I have for you right now. Yeah, they're going to zoom out a little bit. Moving the camera around. Yeah, I hate it when it goes blurry. I wanted to show you. Um, these trees that have died off grew up during a time of quiet. Quiet activity and no gases. And now that the uh, Yellowstone caldera is recharging, these trees are now dying that grew during that time of quiet. Yeah, I'm sure you've seen it before when you went to the live webcam that um, the Park Service is providing. So if any thoughts or questions or comments, put it down below. Thank you very much for your support. Yeah, um, yeah, praise God that I got monetization back. Um, yeah, thank you very much from the bottom of my heart. Please stay safe, and I'll talk to you later. God bless you. Bye.